Good morning, everyone. Today we will sing All the Ends of the Earth. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders God has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Frank Nafik, Father Ruffin Turcott, and for Teddy Barnaby, who will be buried from our parish today. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God, and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, King Rezin of Aram, and King Pekah, son of Ramalia of Israel, went up to attack Jerusalem, but could not mount an attack against it. When the house of David heard that Aram had allied himself with Ephraim, the heart of Ahaz and the heart of his people shook as the trees of the forest shake before the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son, Shir Jasub, the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway to the fuller's field, and say to him, Take heed, be quiet, do not be afraid, for you will let your heart be faint. Because of these two smoldering stumps of firebrands, because of the fierce anger of Rezin and Aram and the son of Ramalia, because Aram with Ephraim and the son of Ramalia have plotted evil against you, saying, let us go up against Judah and cut off Jerusalem and conquer it for ourselves and make the son of Tabeel king in it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand and it shall not come to pass. For the head of Aram is Damascus and the head of Damascus is Rezin. Within 65 years, Ephraim will be shattered, no longer a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria and the head of Samaria is the son of Remaliah. If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the, the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king, within its citadels God has shown himself a sure defense. God upholds his city forever. When the kings assembled, they came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic. They took to flight. God upholds his city forever. Trembling, took hold of them there, pains as of a woman in labor, as when an east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. God upholds the city forever.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Shorazim. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades, for if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, we see in the scriptures many cities and towns are listed here. And we see that God is displeased with each of the ones that are listed. But in Psalm 48, God upholds his city forever. In other words, the city represents all of us. God expects that in each city, in Grimsby, wherever you live, that the place is to be a holy place where God resides. And that the people and inhabitants of that area are to live according to his laws and statutes. But the city also represents us as an individual. We as temples of the Holy Spirit, we call ourselves daughters and sons of God through baptism, are called to live a holy and righteous life as well. That as we invite the Spirit of God to come into our very hearts, into our very souls, into our minds, to encompass us with his grace, it is up to us to live according to what is pleasing to God and how important it is that we see the examples in the scriptures of peoples and nations who did not follow God and therefore their end was destruction because God is also a God of justice. We often think we can just do whatever we want in our life and at the end of the day, oh Lord, I'm sorry, and we all just die and go to heaven. That's just not how it works. It doesn't make logical sense. No different if somebody commits a heinous crime here on earth. Oh, I'm really sorry for murdering your, your kids. That's okay. You don't even need to go to jail. I forgive you. Well, families often forgive but still ask for justice. And jail time is a bare minimum, isn't it? So there's always the consequence due to sin. And what God wants us to do, because he is faithful to us, is that we hold up our end of the bargain and move from sinfulness to holiness. And this is very important for us to reflect upon, my brothers and sisters. So may we ask God to make us temples of his glory, that we ourselves and the areas we live in, our families, our parish communities, the town of Grimsby, the entire world, may be seen as a place which is pleasing to God so that we can fulfill his command for us. Let us pray. Trusting in the Lord's promises, we now offer our petitions to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that all members of the church may continue to grow in love and fidelity to Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the Lord may guide all who hold public office and all who assist them and carry out their policies, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that all nations and peoples living with the effects of war may soon experience peace and reconciliation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that everyone in our faith community of St. Joseph, through the witnessing of the mighty deeds of God, may receive the grace we need to place our trust in him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for researchers to find a vaccine, 
for all medical and frontline workers that they may be protected, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may bring them comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died and gone before us in faith. We remember especially Frank, Father Rufin, Bishop Kimmick, and also for Teddy, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they live forever in God's presence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. Gracious God, when two or more gather in your name, you have promised to be there with us. Hear and answer the prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Frank, Father Rufin, Bishop Kimmick, and Teddy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. As you prepare your hearts to receive Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself 
wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us spend some time in quiet prayer thanking Jesus for the gift of the Eucharist. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. Unto thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Heaven and earth shall rejoice in his might. Every heart, every nation call him Lord. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth the master of the sea has come with justice for the world. God bless you.